Hi everyone, welcome to Ipswich City Council's Active Mums and Bubs Yoga Program. We are filming a three-part series to help engage all participants that are not able to make it to our regular classes to be able to attend. Um, so I just want to remind you that uh, Mums and Bubs Yoga is more about connectedness with your baby. It's more about feeling that connection that you have with your little one. You're not going to be able to do a full yoga routine as you would maybe be used to or would want to do. So just remembering to be gentle with yourself and patient with yourself and your baby as we work together to get some yogic, uh, yogic fun back in our lives. Right, so I hope you enjoyed this three-part series and I look forward to seeing more of you in our regular classes. Thank you for joining us. Right. Hi, welcome back to our Active and Healthy Mums and Bubs series. Today we're going to be doing a core strengthening uh, yoga routine to try and help us re-engage all of those muscles that we sort of lost when the baby was warming inside our bellies. So we're just going to move through some gentle exercises to start to re-engage those, those muscles and to try and start developing some, some real strength back through our abdomen and our stomach. So to get started, again, we're going to start down on our mats. We're going to start in child's pose. So just a wide-legged child's pose with our babies, connecting with our baby to start, just to engage their interests and what sort of mood and attitude they have on today to allow us to do different types of things with our routine. So again, just coming down onto a wide-legged child's pose, keeping baby in between your hands and just having a little bit of a play with them to see what sort of mood they're in. I generally like to move their limbs, whether it's down and up, or moving their legs, again, touching their nose, or stretching them out. I do it this way because the level of resistance we get from our baby will determine what sort of mood they're in. So generally, if they're not gonna let you bring their legs up, they're a bit stiff through there and they're gonna be a little bit extra clingy that lesson, I would say. Whereas if they're just loose and free and able to move quite freely, they're gonna be quite happy to do their own thing. So just trying to take that moment before you start into your routine each time with your baby will help determine how much exercise you'll get done and what types of exercise and the levels and depth that you'll be able to perform that, that session. So like I said, today we're going to do some strengthening through our core. Exercises can be done either with baby in your arms or balancing on your legs or also down on the mat. If they're quite happy playing there, just leave them there. Okay. So we're going to start with our wide leg child's pose. And again, we're just going to press our bottoms back and come forward a little bit, keeping the forearms down this time, either side of baby, using your hands to tickle play, and just allowing your hips to come forward and back, maybe taking your legs out a little bit wider every time you come back to stretch and strengthen through those hip joints. Very good, and pressing that bottom all the way back. We're going to place our hands down on our mat and again bring our knees in, coming up onto all fours for our cat cow. So you want to make sure that your wrists are stacked underneath your shoulders and that your knees are stacked underneath your hip. This gives us the strongest position to support our body through these exercises. From here, we're going to exhale and draw the chin in towards the chest, tucking that tailbone. And as we inhale, we're going to curl through, dragging that belly button down towards the floor. And then exhale, curling through the spine, pressing up. Again, if your hair's down, using that to tickle baby, you'll really enjoy that. Inhale, pressing your belly button down towards the floor. Exhale, pressing through those shoulder blades, curling through the spine. And inhale, arching through the back, dropping that stomach towards the floor. Your feet can either be flat or your toes can be holding your weight. It's depending on what's more convenient and comfortable for you. Very good. So working through this range of motions. Exhale. 
inhale and then do three more it's warming up through that spine inhale and exhale very good from here we're going to press up into our first downward dog we're going to start walking through those legs, trying to get your heels down towards the mat each time you step it down. If you're very tight through your hamstrings, you might need to keep your knees bent a little bit, and that's fine too. Just remembering to work with your body on that particular day and just staying connected and listening to what you need. Very good. So just walking them out, warming up through the body. Very good. And then just holding that downward dog position. Engaging that navel back towards your spine. Pressing the chest towards your knees and relaxing through your shoulders, neck and head. Very good. From here, we're going to step our right foot up right alongside baby. Beautiful. And we're going to get ready to pick baby up. So from here, we're going to pick baby up, keeping our, whoops, keeping our legs both moving in the same direction for a high lunge. So again, baby can either be facing you or sitting away from you. I like to use my front leg as a bit of a balancer, especially as they get a little bit heavier. Very good. From here, we're going to inhale. We're going to drop down to our knee, raising baby up. We're going to exhale, coming back up for a high lunge. So we're going to inhale, come all the way down. Exhale, bringing baby back down. If raising baby's too much, just keep him nice and snuggled in close to you as you come down and up. Down and up. Very good. Two more times. Up, down, up. And come all the way down to the floor with your knee. Flatten out that back foot. And we're just going to press both hips forward. Just leaving baby sitting on your lap. Whichever way they feel comfortable. And we're just going to square the hips and press them forward. Very good. I'm going to bring both knees back together. Oops. And we're going to inhale, bring baby all the way up. And then exhale, bringing baby all the way down. One more time. Inhale, bringing baby all the way up. Press those hips forward. And exhale, bringing baby all the way down. Very good. We're going to step the other leg out now. So bringing that left leg forward, placing baby on your thigh, getting your back foot ready to push up. Very good. Then we're going to come up and down, up and down, up and down. One more. Very good. Going to bring both those knees back together again. And we're going to take baby up, press those hips forward. And exhale, bringing them down. Place baby down on the mat. Bring that left foot forward again. Placing your hands on your knee, squaring your hips and pushing forward. Very good. We're going to bring our hands down either side of baby's head. Bring our feet back. Bringing our arms or forearms down onto the mat over baby's head. We're going to press up for plank. And we're going to hold plank for about 30 seconds. So engaging through that belly button, 
drawing those core muscles towards your spine. Drop into your knees if that's too intense. Very good. Drop into your knees. Pressing your palms either side of baby and pressing up again for downward dog. And catch your breath back here. Very good. Coming down to your knees. We're going to inhale, take those hands up high. And then we're going to exhale, just bringing them back down by your glutes. Or if you can, allowing yourself to come all the way back down to your heels. For camel pose. Inhale, bring those hands up high. And exhale, coming down and taking rest in child's pose. Again, using that time to play with your baby. If you need to. Give him some tickle time. Very good. From here, we're going to come back up onto all fours. We're going to practice some more core engaging exercises. I'd like you to take out your right arm and your left leg, engaging through that core. And we're going to hold this for about 30 seconds. Try to keep nice and still and strong. Very good, and dropping that hand, bringing that knee back down. We're going to do the same on the other side. So left arm out, and right leg out. Very good. And bringing that back down. I'm going to take rest in child's. We're going to come back up for downward dog. We're going to raise that right leg up as high as we can. Yes. Drop that heel behind your body. And then we're going to drag that knee up either side of baby as we flatten out our back leg. And we come down to take a rest. Just keeping that back leg nice and straight. And just sitting on that front leg as such. Again, putting baby down and engaging them with some play. Very good, pressing those hands back either side of baby, curling through the toes, raising yourself back up to downward dog. And raising that left leg up now as high as you can, dropping the heel towards your bottom before bringing that knee up either side of baby. Flattening out the back leg and coming down over baby. Engaging baby with play if you need to. Readjust or anything. If not, just take rest. Pressing those hands either side of your baby, curling through your toes. And pressing back up for downward dog. Allowing yourself back down to your knees. 
and down to child's pose. Very good, taking the big breath in. We're gonna come over onto our backs. Wow, that went quick. <laughs> All the way over to our backs, very good. You're gonna keep your feet, your heels, your toes together. You're gonna press through your pelvis and press down with your hands. Come over here, little one. All right. And as we're pressing through the pelvis, pressing through our hands, we're going to raise those legs up, trying to push the heels towards the ceiling, dragging the toes back down towards your body. Very good. We're going to bend your knees here. We're going to get your baby and we're going to slide him down to sit on your feet like this. <laughs> Very good, and holding onto them either at their shoulders or at their hands, just gently bouncing up and down. Engaging the core. Very good. Engaging the baby. We're going to keep those knees up at right angles. I want you to move your legs out and towards your belly out and towards your belly. Very good. And then just gently bounce your baby. Very good. Grabbing a hold of your baby, bringing them down over your legs and taking your legs out long and just allowing your baby to crawl over you, next to you, down beside you. As you allow yourself to take Shavasana and relax your body after that workout. This is a really good time to find your favourite song and just have it playing in the background to relax your mind. Calm your body, allow you to enjoy the moment. Very good. And stay down and play with your baby as long as you feel like after this lesson. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for our core strengthening active mums and bubs yoga class today. <laughs> Namaste.